Hi, hello. Uh, this is Anup here. And in this video, what we are going to see is how to create a public Teams live event. So I logged into Teams desktop application and go in the calendar tab. And you can see over here, there's an option called create new meeting. Right? If I click on the drop down, you would be able to see live meeting option over here. I clicked on that. And I'm just putting the name, right? Just like click next. And the public option is disabled. I have only two options. One is people and group. I can specify the people and group within the organization, right? And the second one is organization wide. So this is tenant wide, sign in required, etc. And I want this actually, but this is not available for, for me. So I want to fix this. Okay, now uh, what I did is I went into admin.teams.microsoft.com portal. So this is for Teams admins. If you want to create any Microsoft Teams policies, etc., you need to go in here and create policies, right? So I'm going to go into meetings and live events policies. I'm going to create a policy, uh, the custom policy. There's already a default policy over here that is deployed to all the users by default. For now, I need to create a live event, public live event policy. What I'm going to do here is who can join the scheduled live event. I'm going to make it everyone so that it is it can be a public event. Right? Rest of all the options are default. I have not changed it, so I'm going to keep it as default. Okay, so I'm going to save this custom policy in Teams. Okay, I have created a custom policy and you can see custom policy over here. Now, what I need to do is, I need to assign this particular policy to a user or to users. So I'm going to say Anu, right? Okay, so this is my username. I'm going to assign this policy to that user. Okay, I'm going to apply this. I am the only user in this particular tenant can create live event for the public, right? Let's try that now to understand whether I'm able to create a public Teams live event or not. I have not logged off and logged in back. This is the same Teams. So live event over here. And I'm going to say some name, right? Test or something. And it is still, still, public is not available still. Might need to go back, check what is happening. I went into manage users and search for the user and check whether the public live event policy which we created is, is applied to this particular user or not. And this is one of the troubleshooting step we can do. And you can see this is the, the policy which we created a while before, right? And that was over here. Live event policies, this was the tab. Now I went into users and manage users and search for that user and go into the policy, policies tab over here, policies tab over here. And you can see the custom policy which we created. Now let's head back to the teams. And now I'm already in teams. What I did in the background is I logged off from the teams, signed out from the teams and signed in back, right? To make sure every policy is applied or not. So I'm going to create a live event for probably Friday. Click on next. So the public option is available. That's good. That policy is working and now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to schedule a meeting i'm going to disable this option recording got an error error an error occurred over here as you can see over here now i'm going to disable this recording option for the attendees because it's a public event i don't want to i don't want attendees to see the recording directly until i publish it you can enable q and a if you want but I'm just clicking on schedule now and see what has happened. And it says error occurred. Schedule it again and see what has happened. Going back and changing probably to Saturday or something and changing name to see what is happening. Right. And uh, okay, public event and schedule it and see. I'm going to remove all these options and let's try something is wrong. 
me close this and create a new event probably i will keep it for two o'clock two to two thirty info over here and make it public and i'm going to remove schedule hey <laughs> okay so the event got created now i don't know what was the issue before right. and now i can send this invite invitation link to the attendees they can join just like that without username and password it's a public live event hope this was helpful thank you all for watching see you next time bye bye